And so what I'm going to do is go through each of these uh, locations that are part of the project. Um, one of them to start with was Ue Kahuna Bluff. Regardless of the siting of some of these new facilities, Ue Kahuna Bluff does have components within this project. Um, first and foremost, these buildings in red are the buildings that were impacted from the seismic event that were determined to be best demolished. And from that, there became some opportunity to look at well, what to do with some of the spaces uh, where those building facilities were. Um, the intent here was not to invest significantly in new structures because of this seismic activity near the crater's edge, but to still provide visitor access and primary functions that are still required. So there's the removal of the buildings and restoring the footprints of some of these with landscape areas, but at the same time, look at an expanded overlook to maintain visitor access from the existing parking lot that's there now. In addition, because visitors would be at the site, we retain the comfort station. And then there is two water tanks in this location to be removed and replaced with one that's servicing the comfort station as well as a nearby campground. And the only other remaining structure would be um, a radio shed and radio tower for communications within the park. Here's a more detailed picture of the uh, expanded overlook. The, for reference, this outline here that's along the edge and, and uh, striped through the pavement is the footprint of the old Jagger Museum. So we're honoring that facility, a historic building, and then by reflecting its footprint in the, in the pavement, adding seating and expanding the paved area for visitors coming to see the crater. Uh, in addition, creating some barriers to control uh, visitation since these buildings are no longer there to create barriers. So we post and rail to support um, where visitors should be uh, cruising on that side or up on the bluff. So last uh, thing I wanna show are a couple of slide reviews. One of the things that the EA does is analyze visual impacts associated with the project. In this particular case, there are existing facilities on the bluff. This is a view from the Volcano House area. You can see as you slide to the left, this reflects what the view would look like without those facilities. So it's showing less of a human impact on that uh, long distance landscape view. In addition, this is a closer up view from the Crater Rim Trail as you approach this site. This is the existing condition. You can see the Okamura building and then a landscaped berm. You can also see the radio tower that exists. With the removal of those buildings, this is what you would see. Some of the berm that's in this area would be used to fill the basement of the Okamura building when it's demolished. Here's the comfort station. Here's the radio tower that would remain. You've already seen some of the um, projected um, impacts for visual for view sheds. So we'll summarize those here. Um, as Chad showed you, the, the deconstruction of the structures up on the bluff uh, would provide an experience that is more in tune with the area's natural, cultural, and historic character. So while the deconstruction of the vertical construction at the bluff is considered beneficial to the ethnographic landscape, which we'll talk about in a moment, the removal of the Jagger Museum is an adverse effect to the historic district. The Crater Rim Historic District also includes contributing view sheds and vistas. Based on the current definition and the boundary that was established for the, the crater, most actions associated with the proposed action occur outside of that crater and would have no effect on that listed property. Because the buildings that are being removed are unsafe, as they are and as is the current current damage, the project's intended to improve safety for visitors and staff, resulting in long-term beneficial impacts. When it comes to the visitor use and experience, creating a more natural intact setting on the bluff, those park interpretive themes would be more clearly communicated to reflect the sacredness of that area, and the fact that it's a focal point 
for views throughout the part of the, this portion of the park. <clears throat> Um, so there would be a long-term beneficial impact from the deconstruction of those buildings. <clears throat> 